What's going on gamers? Today we are going to go over how to install and use the GSIT plugin in Minecraft. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell to stay up to date on all future videos. Playing Minecraft can bring challenging adventures and tasks, but if you want to take it easy, you can also just focus on decorating and relaxing in your space. Whether you want to sit on a couch that you just made or go on a Minecraft date, that's hard to do when you can't actually sit. A lot of people want this feature added into the vanilla game, but until that happens, we can use GSIT. This is the perfect plugin to allow you to sit in game, and there are a few more features that you might want to check out too. First, you're going to want to make sure your server is running a plugin compatible server like Paper or Spigot. And then you can head towards GSIT's Spigot page and press download now in the top right corner. Save that file somewhere easily accessible and then head into your Apex server panel, stop the server, and then click FTP file access in the top left and log in. After that, enter the plugins folder and click upload in the top left and then drag and drop the file into the upload area. And once it hits 100%, you can use your server name at the top of the page to return to the main panel and restart the server. Finally, once that loads, you can join the server and use the forward slash plugins command to see if it's installed. The feature most players want is the ability to sit down in Minecraft, which is likely the first one you're going to try with GSIT. Anyone wanting to do this will need to right click any applicable blocks, which should instantly force their character to sit on it, or you can just use the forward slash sit command. Another one of the most known features is the ability to lay down, which is normally done in bed, but it can pretty much be done anywhere in your world. You can easily do this with the forward slash lay command, which every player can use by default. Similar to swimming in Minecraft, crawling around is going to help at attempting to move into one block areas. You can do this through the forward slash crawl command. This is going to be extremely beneficial for something like secret locations in bases or more. Along with those three normal features, the plugin also gives you the ability to spin and belly flop. You can also use the sit command to player stack and walk around with other players on your head. These can add a little bit of fun to your world, even though they don't do much to actually progress the story like crawling might. There are surprisingly a lot of settings for you to edit, such as allowing players to sit at unsafe positions or setting a limit for player stacking. Unfortunately, there's no actual documentation for the configuration though, which means you're going to need to review the descriptions really carefully before making any changes. Head towards your server panel and near the top left, enter the FTP file access, log in, and enter the plugins directory. Afterwards, click the GSIT folder and continue to edit the config YML file. And once you're inside that file, you'll immediately see the settings to tweak. Make any changes that you want, and after making those edits, press save at the top and return to the main panel, and then restart the server and join to confirm everything works, or you can use GSIT reload in the console area. By default, the basic sitting and other movement commands are accessible by every player, but everything else needs permission nodes to be used in game. You can get these permissions by becoming a server operator or by using a plugin like Luckworms. Here's a list of all of the commands, including the ones you're going to need certain permissions for. In cases where the players are unable to use GSIT, it's likely a permission or configuration issue. For example, if someone is trying to sit on a solid block, then it's not going to work due to that material not being specified in the config file. Other than that, make sure the player is trying to use a command allowed by everyone and not one where a certain permission is required. If you edit the configuration and you aren't seeing the changes in game, first make sure you're pressing save in the editor. Next, you'll want to make sure you're not capitalizing any settings or changing the formatting. We don't really know if sitting will ever become a real part of the Minecraft game, but until then, we do have the GSIT plugin to get us through. That, along with the aspects of laying, crawling, and even spinning, make it the perfect small addition to any server. 
That's all for this one, and as always, I hope you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.